He's Holly, he's Jolly, and he's about to f***ing die! Ahem, excuse me. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 games where you kill Santa. <laughs> for more gaming videos, check out our new spin-off channel, Mojo Plays, for in-depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays. Game smarter. For this list, we're looking at games that feature old Saint Nick and allow us to partake in his demise. The winter is deadly. It bites to the bone. Poor Frank has been naughty, and now he's alone. Number 10, Hunter, the Reckoning Redeemer. You don't have to tell me what you want for Christmas, kiddies. I mean, I know what the subject of the list is, but we couldn't start with anything a bit more jolly. Well, anyway, whatever. This unmerry monstrosity uses his magic bag to send out demonic toys that are ready to straight up murder ya. It's one of Santa's most disturbing appearances in video games, depicted with jagged teeth and a long, droopy mustache. No, we certainly do not want to sit on this Santa's lap. The only redeeming factor in this is when you finally kill the fat man and his ugly mug. The nightmare might be over, but you'll never view Santa's workshop the same way ever again. Number 9, Duke Nukem 3D, Nuclear Winter. So you have found my secret plans, now you must die. Back in Duke's glory days, Duke Nukem 3D saw a meaty dose of expansion packs. One such popular pack was the Nuclear Winter expansion, where Santa has become brainwashed by aliens. After Duke blasts the holiday spirit out of pig cops, enforcers, and of course elves, he must square off with old Saint Nick, who is equipped with an RPG, a chain gun, a shotgun, a jetpack, and steroids. Come on, Santa, you're better than that. He's one of the weakest bosses, but it's pretty difficult to land a decent shot on him. Any chance we can get a sequel with the Grinch involved? Oh, my face! Number 8, Happy Wheels. Ah! Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, you forgot about this game, right? Well, if you haven't been around since the early days of this popular Flash game, Happy Wheels has added more playable characters, such as good old Kris Kringle. Complete with a pair of elves to fly his sleigh, he'll ho 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 his way about the level until you finally get him killed. We feel a little bad getting the big guy slaughtered, but we tend to get distracted in the excessive gore and violence. How shall he die this time? Bottle run gone bad? Being a participant in sword throwing? No wait, we got it. Ball throw death. Number 7, Dead Rising 4. The shit. <laughs> What could be better than a classic zombified Santa? Don't even try to respond, because the real answer is a mechanical mall Santa with an army of murderous elves. In Dead Rising 4, there is an optional boss fight with a maniac called Sadistic Claws, who wields an electric axe. In typical Dead Rising fashion, this fight becomes a holly jolly bloodbath, and you'll be glad you killed this mall Santa when it's all over. Seriously, who wouldn't go crazy after Santa talks about their mom? Number 6, Killing Floor. Alright, at this point in the list, we're no stranger to evil killer Santas. We've seen Demon Santa, Hypnotize Santa, Psycho Santa. So, what's Killing Floor got to offer? Are you kidding me? Cyborg Santa, duh! Yes, Santa has sided with the Zens, and it's time to take him out. If you were a lucky participant in the first Twisted Christmas event in 2010, one of the bosses you could encounter was Cyborg Santa. He's basically a new skin for the Patriarch, but he's got his own voice lines, which is kind of cool and frightening at the same time. As with any Killing Floor boss, Cyborg Santa isn't going to be a fruit cakewalk. There's also the Santa skin for the bloat to contend with, so you better be equipped with your best weapons. Number 5, Clay Fighter 63 and a third. Get away! Jingle this! There's basically no question that Clay Fighter is one of the weirdest franchise ever created. In this fighting game, you can play as a monstrous snowman, a jack-o'-lantern, a cybernetic bunny, and a living blob of taffy. However, what really takes the cake is Sumo Santa. Don't worry, he's still wearing a loincloth. Clay Fighter 63 and a third gives Santa an entire moveset using his enormous belly and butt. Throughout the fight, he can get pretty obnoxious, which makes beating him all the more satisfying. Ugh, he just kind of looks really gross though. Hmm, better finish him off with a Claytality so we don't have to see him again. I smash! Claytality! Number four, and I can't believe this is the title, Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue. Stupid, Thunder, Blowitzen. 
Voxen. Prancer. While on his quest to retrieve the thongs of virtue, Deathspank finds himself in the North Pole in search of the thong of generosity. Who could possibly be in the possession of that? Well, if Clayfighter Sumo Santa didn't traumatize you, seeing Santa in a thong will probably do the trick. Corrupted by the thong of generosity, this Santa Claus is hell-bent on making Christmas the top holiday. However, he actually can't fight Deathspank since he's on the nice list and sends coal monsters out to kill the hero of the downtrodden. At least he's playing by his own rules, in some way. It's an honorable fight that ends in the Jolly Man's demise, and it's one more hilarious, if questionable, moment in gaming. Number 3. Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space Feliz Navidad, baby! It's kind of hard for us to imagine Santa as anything other than a corporate a-hole. I mean, aside from the entries we've already seen. But anyway, leave it to the Sam and Max series to help us out with that. After enjoying what appears to be a harmless plate of jello, Santa becomes possessed by the, quote, shambling corporate presence, turning him into a paranoid corporate boss. Or so we thought. It turns out that his fears kind of got the better of him, and he begins to shoot his elves at the slightest suspicion. After a complicated shootout, Sam and Max manage to capture Santa, shipping him off as a present for Satan. Guess there might be a cold day in hell after all. We all get to pull together and save Christmas for the kids of the world! Number 2. Secret of Mana <laughs> This time, killing Santa actually saved him, technically. Upon defeating the Frost Gygus, you find out that you were fighting Santa Claus the whole time. How did he become the Frost Gygus? Well, he was just trying to find a way to make children believe in him again. Aww. This moment might not be as satisfyingly psychotic as the other entries, but it's at the number two spot for how this boss battle surprised and touched our hearts. Besides, that Rudolph cameo earned some brownie points, doesn't it? Number one, Saints Row 4, How the Saints Save Christmas. For this, my friends, is how the Saints saved Christmas. Leave it to the Saints Row series to take something normal and get pretty frickin' insane with it. Santa is trapped in Zinyak's simulator, and it's up to the Saints to bust him out and save Christmas. The whole story is a wild ride, from piloting Santa's jet-powered sleigh to blasting evil gingerbread men to bits, and it all leads up to an epic fight against an evil Santa, who ends up getting impaled on Steelport Star. Once all is said and done, you'll be able to call up Santa to have as a homie. Yep, we do see those gears turning in your evil little heads. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.